This is the Chris Abraham Show. I guess this is the uh, What is the Meaning of Life episode, Season 5. Episode 42 of the Chris Abraham show. My name's Chris Abraham and we're doing a walkies along Columbia Pike from uh, South Courthouse Road all the way to Walter Reed Then I'll take a left and go have breakfast and coffee at Idito's Today was supposed to be a clean my apartment day, but I decided to get a jump on work and then maybe clean my apartment from 3 p.m. on and then break it into two days today and tomorrow so we'll see how that goes um weekend was good metro boulot dodo every day is the same day um it's gonna be windy today so i'm gonna run i'm definitely gonna be running this uh audio through this thing called the adobe ai cleaning doohickey thingy so we'll see if that makes everything good um i'm gonna try doing it without even running i usually run stuff through audacity or whatever it's called i run it through normalize and then condenser and that does a pretty good job but i don't have my dead cat on this uh recorder today so we don't know what's going to happen je ne connais yeah, man, that's really windy. Shizzle. Ah, oh, friggin' A. Well, anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll have a makeshift uh, wind deflector, probably just make it sound worse. But this will be a good test. Um, so, <laughs> I was just thinking about this in the shower. First of all, I've completely converted to polypropylene nylon black t-shirts because I spend a mint of money cleaning my Eddie Bauer shirts and honestly every day I'm just exercising so having a polypropylene uh, easy to dry modern technical fabric shirt is the way to go besides I can take them in with me every day when I go into every morning when I go into the shower and shower uh with my um, Boathouse.com JL Racing uh, Unisuits Unitards um, Singlets and so that's great I just I live, I live my own apartment life as if I'm traveling and staying in hostels because when I did that everything that I owned I would be able to take into the shower with me and like it was always uh, micro pour whatever towels that would dry fast and there was always um, you know so I don't wear underwear anymore I just wear the unisuits As if you heard a few episodes ago I wear a unisuit every day because I am extremely anti underbelly and since I'm still fat And I can call myself fat, and you can call me fat, but I can use that word because it's me. Anyway, um, so basically the only thing that I need to properly launder are my Russell and Champion cotton stretchy shorts. And uh, eventually the summer will be over and the fall will be over and it'll be getting cold. So either we'll be wearing sweatpants or I'm going to be reverting back to jeans or who knows what I'm going to do. Uh, I do love living in a world where I get to wear um, hunting jackets and blundstone boots and uh, and jeans. That's, that's my favorite streetwear. Um, but uh, if I'm going to continue to be wearing this freaking 24 kilogram backpack everywhere I need to figure out the best outfit for that Um, and yes I use the word outfit isn't that soft the best kit 
as the Brits would say. Anyway, I uh, had a thought and I was thinking about it in the shower as I, oh, here's a notice to anybody who wants, who's taking note. Um, you're right. If I'm a point of data, I've never, in a shower, I've never washed my legs. I wash my body, I wash my bum, I wash my back sometimes. You know, when I have the unisuit and so forth, it's really easy to do a an undercarriage uh, um, swipey swipey and also a, um, a back swipey swipey. But you're right, you're right. If, uh, if people of color uh, wash their legs with their hands in soap, every time they shower or bathe, then in fact, here's another point of data. I do not wash my legs, but I might not be a good data point because I also only use one type of uh, cleaning liquid at any time of the day or night, no matter what, uh, what it is I'm washing. I use Dawn dishwashing soap for bathing, for hand washing, for dishwashing. I do use things like Windex and Fantastic and stuff for, I mostly use those um, Clorox wipes on everything else. And I've got brushes and all that other fun stuff. But when it comes to cleaning fluid, it is universally the blue giant jugs. There's giant jugs of blue Dawn detergent all over my house, uh, backups, current running. And the way I do it is I use the Russian strategy of vodka bottles. The moment I activate a bottle of Dawn, I take the little pop top, you know, it's like, it's a little uh, pop top that, uh, that allows you to open the bottle. I basically rip that off, so that's what I do. So I don't know. Um, oh, back to the ideas I had in the, in the shower. Um, <laughs> well, everybody here is really nice to me in this neighborhood. And a majority of them are Muslim men and women and uh, Central and South American men and women. And uh, yesterday I was talking to a guy named Afok and he's from uh, Tigray, he's a refugee, and he's also a medical physician, and moving here means that he has to spend four years uh, becoming, uh, taking, you know, in reintegrating to become a physician in the U.S. hospitals, and I think that's completely crazy. However, um, he said that he knew other seniors and that he was friends with other white, old white seniors from the Walter Reed Senior Center. So I think in these cultures, such as, um, such as um, uh, Latino, Latina cultures, and, um, and uh, Catolica, Culturas de Catolicas, and uh, Muslim, Islamic, uh, North African, African, such as, uh, if you will, um, uh, my favorite uh, uh, Ethiopians, the true Christians, and uh, Muslim men and women, Muslim families, Afghanis, uh, Iraqis, they all show me the respect, not because I'm a charming bastard and they love my personality and they would love to name all their children Chris. It's because I'm getting senior privilege. I have tall privilege, pretty privilege, white privilege, and now I have senior privilege. And senior privilege only works with immigrants. Nobody in America gives a shit about old people, but I'm 53, and honestly, these people all think I'm 73. Like, whatever life has done to me, it, it's aged me visibly 20 years. So, that's what I'm experiencing. Um, yeah. So now there are two physicians 
at the Columbia Pike Public Library that I'm friends with. Uh, one is Afok from Tigre, probably, um, probably Ethiopian Orthodox. And then there's our, we both have this friend from, from uh, I don't think I remember his name, but he's from uh, Morocco. And he's very devout Muslim. And uh, he has two years. He's, they're both in extremely deep study because uh, they do not make it easy for global doctors to integrate here easily. Uh, he mentioned that Tennessee has a permitting process, but if you get permitted by Tennessee, you're only permitted to practice medicine in Tennessee. I told him, well, that's that that's to compensate for the racism. So he laughed at that. Anyway, um, other than that, I, I, I donated $55 to No Agenda Show for yesterday's show, and uh, uh, it's my favorite podcast in the universe, and it's the best podcast in the universe, and, and they read out all the donations, and if your donation is one cent over uh, either equal to or greater than $50, they at least mention the name. And I had written a little note saying that I'm giving $55 um, because I've lost 55 pounds and I wanted to share that. So they celebrated me. Um, I don't know if Adam ever sees my Mastodon post, but he said that he's always seeing me posting about my journey. And so he is keeping eyeballs on me. And uh, it was really nice to get a shout out from your celebrity heroes, John C. Dvorak and, and uh, Adam Curry. And uh, I recommend, if you're not faint of heart, you need to not have Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, and you need to not hate everything about RFK Jr. or you need to not hear Tulsi Gabbard's name and automatically think Russian stooge. Um, those are some like baseline requirements. When you hear things like Tucker Carlson or Jimmy Dore or Joe Rogan or Russell Brand, you need to have your ears perk up. And if that's the case, then you might be open-minded enough. Unless you want to hate listen. Um, if you're too much of a, oh, and also, Within the last year, uh, Adam Curry found Jesus. So, in addition to all the other, uh, he's a he says he's a conspiracy therapist. I've been listening since 2008, 2007, Daily Source Code, 2008, and uh, he calls himself a conspiracy therapist. And he and John Dvorak have been doing this show since 2008, and I'm what's called a knight. That means I've spent thousand dollars or more over the last number of years so that's something you might not know about me uh, on the 11th of August we're having a DC area meetup a no agenda meetup.com meetup on the 12th of August and I will be attending so please if you have any desire and you're in Arlington or Alexandria Virginia in the local environ or have a car or desire, come reach out to me and I'll give you the link. Anyway, I'm approaching, uh, I'm approaching sweet little Ididos, so I'm going to say aloha and mahalo and kisses and hugs and smooches and booches and I hope you're doing well and thanks for coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and give me five stars on all platforms and say nice things about me and reach out to me and I love you. Bye-bye.
thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.